You're working with the Bucks now. Yeah. Uh, you know, Gil, you have some strong opinions about Giannis, but I will say in your defense, you, you do have in your top two, right? KD and Giannis, I think no, you said on a previous really? show. <laughs> oh, man. I'm, I'm, Gian- I'm Team Giannis, I'm man. What you talking about, I'm man? Not, I don't know. This, this Giannis okay. slander. <laughs> crazy. We changed. I've we been changed. a Bucks fan and from the beginning. Yeah, whoa, whoa. <laughs> we changed. I see. This I is what I like video. to say. I've seen the video. Oh, yeah. I've seen the video. I didn't know people in Milwaukee got cable, so yeah, right, right. You know, I wasn't really, I wasn't really we, careful we, we, with my we, we, word. We just got it last, like, two months ago. We got it hooked up. But, you know, you've been with the, with the Bucks like, five, six years? Eight years, eight, bro. Eight, eight, eight seasons. Yeah, we getting eight seasons. Yeah. But what have you seen Giannis' growth over that period just as a hooper, and how much work is he actually putting in to elevate his game? Well, this thing I love about Giannis, and, 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 and your point, you know, it's not totally off base. It's just in terms of overall, if you're going to give a guy a trophy for being the most skilled, I mean, Giannis, in terms of shooting, mm-hmm. and that's where with Giannis, the big issue is. Mm-hmm. And as ball players, that's a big issue. Yeah, that, yeah. That's a big issue. Mm-hmm. You know, that, that is a major, major, I don't want to say flaw, but, but it's a shortcoming that he readily admits, especially at the free throw line nowadays. But for me, over these eight years, he was 19 when I first got there, about to turn 20, December 6th. And I thought that maybe he could eventually morph into a player who could give you a solid 17, 18 a game, 9, 10 rebounds at, at his size, 6, 11, 7 feet. But the dude has got this work ethic, man, that, that, and, and this drive to be great. He's a dude that was selling trinkets on the streets of Athens at 3 o'clock in the morning when he was 14, 15 years old. Uh, him and his family, it's, it's well documented, kind of what they went through, especially uh, Rise, the, the great movie about his life. And so he's got this, he's, he's on some different stuff, as we used to say. He's on, on just different shit. You know, Giannis is. We right say now. shit, not stuff, though. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, we can okay. curse on this show. Okay, okay, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't but, but he's on some different shit, man. And, and, and I've seen it up close and personal, his work ethic. I mean, he's a guy that'll drop 40 in the game. I've seen it. He dropped 40 in the game, didn't feel good about his free throws. I'm leaving in Milwaukee, outdoors, going to my car. And it's probably six degrees below zero. It's freezing, and I see a I see this tall, shadowy figure of a guy in a, in a undershirt, shorts on, and your socks and shoes, kind of kind of darting through the crowd. I'm like, who's that crazy fool? Like as cold as it is out here, it was Giannis running to the practice facility to shoot free throws. You know, without the ladder. You know, this is Giannis headed over there to work on his free throws. I've I've seen him drop 40 and get on a team plane and and, and have a film breakdown with with uh, Sean Sweeney our assistant at the time on what he could have done better. And it's, and it's all genuine. It's not, it's, it's funny, I, I saw him when he was about 21, 22, and it was uh, New Year's Day. And we're in the uh, team uh, uh, cafeteria, team eating facility. It's not a cafeteria. It's a, it's, it's, it's a restaurant, basically, mm-hmm. a team, the team dining hall. And so I'm <laughs> just like, so, yeah, Giannis, uh, what was your New Year's resolution? And he thought for a minute, he's like, mm, to be the best version of myself. Like, <laughs> who is this guy? <laughs> you know, at 22, I'm trying to figure out like how, what time the club closed, you know, what are you, what's last call gonna be? I'm, you know, and he's, th- he's throwing out all that kind of stuff at 22 years old. So he's wise beyond his years. He's got this worth ethic, ethic that's off the hook. He's as genuine as it comes. We got off the team plane, I swear to God, uh, December 5th, we may have played somewhere, I forget where, but we flying back to Milwaukee that night. And so it's after midnight when we land, and it's actually December 6th, his birthday, and he's at the front of the plane with the NASA's and the other guys he plays cards with, and he's sitting on the top of, he's sitting on the edge of the seat, you know, just like, it's my birthday, it's my birthday, it's my birthday, and I go, well, my, well, happy birthday, young fella, he's like, yeah, it's my birthday, it's my birthday, it's my birthday, you know, just, just, just all excited at 27 years mm-hmm. old. He's got this genuine excitement about life, man, that uh, is really, it's really refreshing, but his work ethic is a thing that is, allowed him to, look at 27, he's a two-time MVP, mm-hmm. he's a finals MVP, he's had a 50-point game in the finals, he knocked down 17 out of 19 free throws in a, in a, in a, in a closeout game six against the Suns at 27. And my thing is, if he, if he never played a, 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 a minute of basketball, he's first ballot Hall of Fame right now just yes. based on that alone, you know. Mm-hmm. And so, um, yes, he's, he's, and the thing about it, every year, and I've said this on the air, Every year, there's something he's got to work through, whether it's barreling over players with these offensive fouls a few years back, whether it's knocking down threes that, that, that he's having sh- troubles with, trying to shoot you know, 10% from the three-point line one year. He started off like three for 30-something, uh, whether it's free throws like this year and the count and all that. 
It's like he's one of those guys that actually feeds off of that self-induced kind of pressure. You know, you know, you know guys like that. Mm -hmm. And Muhammad Ali was, was an athlete like that. Not to put Nanos on that level, but would predict the rounds and talk all the trash. But, but those are good, the guys that have that, that kind of um, drive that know that if they put the pressure on themselves to, to perform, that they're going to find that will to make it happen. And Giannis is one of those dudes, man. He's just one of those guys. So you talk about the 10-second uh, the free throw violations. We've seen Giannis get dinged a few times now uh, <laughs> against the Warriors, yeah. uh, Lakers, uh, Westbrook doing the count all out. So, I mean, I just want to ask you, Gil, like, do you feel like, you know, who's going to win that game of chicken, Giannis or the rule book, or does he need to change? Did they do that with Carmelo? That was a thing with Carmelo yes. one year where the whole crowd right. was counting and you know, so it's 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 gonna be more of a mental thing where he he has to have his own count in his head. Because what's gonna happen is eventually the crowd's gonna start getting involved and yeah. they're gonna start doing that count on him. And it kinda it will kinda mess him up a little bit, yeah. but it, it all depends on the ref. It's <laughs> you know funny. what I mean? And he and I and I clocked it, the the Acosta, I forgot the ref the name that called it on him a couple of times in the game against the Warriors, but but he was eleven. He was eleven. And, you know, I thought it was kinda quick and then I, I actually timed it uh, just re rewound the tape and timed it. But the the, the ironic part is that when he played uh, the World Games or Euro Basket, whatever it was this summer that he played, Giannis, they've got a rule that you've got to shoot the ball within five seconds after it's handed to you. Okay. You know, an international rule or whatever. Giannis shot 78.6%. Okay. With that, you know, under that rule. So he yeah, said, I, I would ask, what was the percentage in? It was higher. Yeah, yeah, right? he's 78.79%. Yeah, he's, he's not thinking as much. Yeah, 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 just give me the ball, now I gotta shoot. So my thing is, like, and I think uh, Stan Van Gundy mentioned something about it the other night, like, hey, just, you know, just take a couple of dribbles and shoot it. And not, <laughs> it's not like he's 90% with that routine anyway. <laughs> and so um, I think you'll see him make the adjustment. He works with uh, Josh Oppenheimer who uh, was a little gym rat at UCLA when I was playing, uh, in, in the, playing in the NBA in the, in the 80s. Uh, Josh was an assistant with Jason Kidd when I first got there, and he walked up to me, Joe. He's like, do you remember me? And I looked at him like, nah. Then I saw these light green, eight, green <laughs> eyes that he has that are real dis you know, <laughs> just distinguishes him from everybody else. I'm like, Josh? He was like, yeah, yeah. So, but he works with Giannis. He's a, he's a shooting guy. And they do a lot of creative stuff. I mean, Giannis, they shoot at different baskets in the training facility at the end of pet practice just so he didn't get comfortable at one hoop. And, you know, so he's a, and Giannis has embraced this challenge. He's like, look, I know I need to work on my free throws. I know I need to make them in, in, in the clutch. And I'm, 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 I'm going to do it. I'm going to make it happen. And, you know, we saw it against Phoenix. You know, he struggled. They started counting that series. Mm -hmm. It was in his head. He was missing some clutch situations. All of a sudden, game 60, 17 for 19. Yeah. He, he's had a couple of games, maybe that year or last year, where he's 17 for 17, he's 14 for 14, you know, he's 16 for 16. I mean, so he's, uh, it's in there. My thing is that if it's in there, if I see it in there, I know that there's the opportunity to get it to come he out should, consistently. He should do more of his practice in, inside the arenas. Yeah. Versus practice arenas because of the space and maybe yeah, just yeah, he's missing because and everything. Yeah. It's the background. Well, but, but it's just it's it's he works so hard on it, man. I'm telling you that it's just it's just it's, all, it's mental. It's all it's all and and he's just gotta <laughs> and either he will but but the thing about him that and and Wilt was the same way that Wilt shot fifty percent, fifty to sixty percent every year from the free throw line. If that he tried the underhand, he tried these different styles, but he was one of those guys. And I, you know, I could do it earlier in my career. That if I, if I, and you may be able to do this too. That if you, if you messed up on one thing, you're gonna make it up doing something else. Mm -hmm. you know, so I'm gonna get a steal. I'm gonna get a block. I'm gonna get a tip dunk. You know, if, I, if I'm not hitting free throws, I'm gonna go in here and get me a couple. I'm gonna dunk on somebody backwards or do something just for my own type of, uh, of, 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 of rebuilding up my own confidence more than anything else.